Today we're going to talk about information questions with where, why, when, and what time in the simple past. You'll notice what I have on the board here is actually some yes or no questions. And we're going to practice changing them to information questions and seeing what kinds of answers they get. So let's look at our first example. Did you eat breakfast? This is a yes or no question I'm asking you. I want to know, did you eat breakfast? Yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Now, maybe I already know you ate breakfast, but I want to know where. I can make an information question here with where. And it's very easy once you have your yes or no question. We just add where at the beginning of the question. And of course, we'll change our uh, capital D to lowercase. Where did you eat breakfast? And the answer to this question will be a place. So I might say at home or I ate breakfast at home. Now here's our second question. This one is with a be verb. Our first one used a helping verb and a main verb, but here we're using a be verb for this question. Were you angry? Yes, I was, or no, I wasn't. Now, in the same way, we just need to add our WH question word at the beginning. We'll ask, why were you angry? Why were you angry? And when we use the question word why, we're asking for a reason. So probably the answer will start with because. I don't know the reason. Why were you angry? Because I was actually hungry or <laughs> because he broke my bicycle or something like that. Giving a reason about why you were angry. All right, our last one we're going to talk about time. Did they go grocery shopping? We're going to use either when or what time. We can say When did they go grocery shopping? Or what time did they go grocery shopping? We can use both of these time, this is a time word and a time phrase. We can use them for these information questions and they have almost the same meaning. Uh, they're asking about the time, the time of this past action. The only difference here is that with when, maybe we're asking about something that happened last week or last year or a long time ago. Uh, with what time, we're asking about a specific time on the clock. So the answer for what time is always going to be a time on the clock. So when we ask when did they go grocery shopping, we might say, yesterday or this morning or last week but when we ask what time the answer is always going to be a time on the clock so we might say they went they went grocery shopping at 10 a.m. when you ask what time the answer will always be a clock time